Some of you have toasters that can access your Instagram and you can play video games on an 8th generation quality. These features have become prominent in the 7th generation of gaming, but it's become more and more obvious that with since the seventh generation of gaming, since the era of smartphones, that Negatech, I'm going to use the suffix of A in the end because I have to be a little bit careful with my YouTube. Just a little bit careful with my YouTube! Because I'm not trying to get banned up in this bitch, and I'm not about to download this video if it gets flagged, but I really don't care at this point. It's something I've complained about since the advent of the 7th generation, but even near the end of the 6th generation, where some of this stuff really started kicking in. I mean, flip phones had this feature, too. Flip phones, you could take a camera video or browse the web, but it was very limited. And this feature was also very prevalent. I mean, you could have some online stuff with the 6th generation of gaming, yet you weren't browsing the web. So there was a balance. Things were still in their natural order. All that natural order bullshit, I was thrown out the window now because... You got seven year olds FaceTiming each other while they're on Call of Duty shooting some fiends up. And a friend of mine from high school, we were in the freshman year of high school, and we're about to take the final test for this earth science, not earth science class, living environment class, it's basically biology. And both of us at the start of the fall semester, we were getting 80s and 90s in this class, but simultaneously we started a struggle. And we're both like, promised each other, man, together, we're, we're, rape is going to be legal, we're going to rape this class. And of course, uh, the teacher decided, fuck it, she moved to another, she moved to China. She's not even Chinese. And left us alone some random ass, weird, Asiatic, he wasn't even a substitute teacher, he was the interim teacher at this point. He was gonna guide us the rest of the way and re for review and shit. I remember watching a documentary on some of the stuff underwater. We barely know like 1% of what exists in subterranean grounds. Like, we got liquid that's underwater. We got all sorts of life that can operate without the need of photosynthesis. They have something like chemosynthesis or something of that nature where they're just using some of the weird chemicals that exist underwater as a life source and it was really dark and some of the animals they, they had like lamps practically attached to their fucking heads that's how dark this place is and the necessary tools to get there we don't have that yet to get deeper underwater so we both made a joke about that. He's like, wow, we've moved on so much, you know, liter linear history, yet we still don't know what exists under our shores. And I said, yeah, but we got faster pornography. It's like, yeah, faster porn. And it made me realize that the issue with modern technology isn't that we can do all these things, it's the fact that when everybody wants to use something, it really does get flooded with boring people. Take YouTube nowadays. 
if you have a Google Plus, if you have a Gmail account, if you have all this stuff, you're going to end up with a YouTube account sooner or later. And it's not even going to be with a fancy ass username like Mr. Marcus 7. No, you're going to, you can have your full name. So there's no longer people voluntarily signing up to YouTube because they think, man, I want an account. I want to make videos so much, so hard, so badly. And now it's much easier to make videos. You have some music playing in the background. You can have a signature catchphrase. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, subscribe to my YouTube account. You can just talk about something on camera and then do like 20 cuts and it come out fresh. You get viewers and you can share it to a bunch of people and it'd be boring as shit though, especially if a misleading thumbnail, like because the thumbnail really makes up half the stuff. And YouTube has gotten around to solve this problem by getting rid of a video response feature, which is bullshit. Because a video response feature ultimately stop some of the interesting responses that I may get, that you may get for your videos, and it makes YouTube into a much more boring place. But that's what happens when you have to get rid of reply girls. Because there's so many guys just rambling about the same shit, what some celebrity just did, or they're all trying to be in their own TMZ, except they're not reporting it, they're just the guys in the background talking about what just happened, only alone. See how dull that can get, especially if you're only personality on YouTube, and this is 9 out of 10 guys on YouTube now, you're either a neckbeard atheist, a boring, Americanized black guy, or you're gay. In fact, on YouTube, the default personality is your game. That's it. Nothing fancy, you just... You're gay. The gay, you get a YouTube account. You gay fedora atheist, that also happens to be a black. Damn, you're, you're weird as shit, but... Okay. And of course, Fedora Atheism is sort of dying out on YouTube because now you have so many trolls coming in that it's becoming more difficult for anything that only exists and functions popularly on the internet to continue to be that way. Like wrestling. A lot of people on the internet talk about wrestling. If you based reality on the internet, you'd think most people were wrestling fans still, even though it's still dying out to this day. Same goes for atheism. You'd think that the world, entire world is atheistic if you just followed the YouTube and internet trends. You'd think that everybody believed that people were poisoning the water and then 9-11 is an inside job if you followed everything based off of YouTube and internet cliches, but that's all gone now. Now it's, Beyonce did this, Beyonce did that, I don't really care. This is worse, this is more boring. And the solution is fucking simple. Get rid of broadband. If you're boring as shit, if you're all the things I mentioned, get your broadband rights revoked. Nigga, you get dial-up. There's no way you're gonna go on Facebook, text your bestie, get like television all at once. You have to pick one. You have to pick one. And what this will do is this will 
destroy the dynamics. You can't add girls on Facebook, give them your number, and then wait all day chilling, watching some YouTube rap battle videos, waiting for her to give you that booty call. You can't do that shit anymore. Yeah, you actually have to make a choice, and it forces you to manage your time better. And you have to deal with that annoying startup noise. All these things combined, then the problem is fucking solved. Because the internet will return to being somewhat accessible, but still easy to access and learn all the kinks of the internet. Yet, it'll be fun because now you don't have to deal with the 12 year olds. The boring 12 year olds, that is. The 30 year old that feel with no girlfriend guys that uh, really do everything in their power to make me lose all sympathy for them. And the world would be nice again. We'd all live happily ever after, and I'm gonna get my dick sucked. It's Mr. Rocket 7, and you can all go to hell.